Check it here. Bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we've got a lot of news to dive into. Uh, lots of exciting stuff going on. Hold on a second here. Back, back, back. So yeah, we've got um, we've got um, three big, big, uh, big things happening, guys. It's pretty exciting, honestly. Um, we're gonna get into this here in a second. Uh, I am going to be diving on into some war factory here I'm gonna let an operation attack play while uh, while we go over some of this news here guys so first off um, there's a new event a new hammerman event uh, coming and it is called uh, imitation game so how this is gonna work uh, it says lieutenant hammerman has copied the best player bases in the archipelago and now you have the chance to destroy them. Imitation Games, the newest addition to the Cycle of Evil, and will feature seven stages of increasing difficulty. Uh, the bases will feature persistent damage, but you will only have ten attacks to take them down. Okay, so it's going to be like, obviously it's going to be uh, seven like player bases, and they're just going to get increasingly harder. It says it's going to feature persistent damage, so I'm not sure if that's talking about the statues or how that's going to work. Um... But yeah, that's going to be super exciting. Um, it'll be nice to have a Harriman event that is uh, offense and not defense, because uh, we all know how the chicken how the chicken feels about his uh, defensive game. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly when this is coming. Um, uh, we're doing things. Let me get the sneak peeks. Okay, so it says that we're getting the sneak peeks much earlier than usual. Uh, the update is not ready yet, but we wanted to give you an inside look at what's coming. So this could be like, I would, if I was to guess, I would say within the next two months this is going to be coming, guys. But um, nothing's for sure yet. And um, yeah, so seven stages, we get ten attacks. I, like that's going to be super cool. Uh, I'm really excited to see that. Um, so the next bit is forlorn, forlorn hope, and what this is. This is a new OP map, which is what like everyone's been asking for. Like, give us an operation map, update the maps, give us something. Um, it says, the, I'm just going to read it word for word. Uh, the most difficult operation ever created. It will feature the new barbed wire, which will damage and slow troops moving through it. The Forlorn, forlorn Hope will cost 186 intel for five men, and you'll be rewarded with uh, 1,820 force points if you succeed. Uh, also note that all other operations will be getting slightly easier in order to accommodate a wide, wider variety of troop combinations, only Forlorn Hope will feature barbed wire for now. So, <clears throat> uh, the chicken's kind of thumbs down on this one, guys. I know it's exciting to finally get a new OP map and uh, to have barbed wire and stuff, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not like. I guess, I guess there's, there's a way they could make the operations better with the. Um, like with when they say, because when they say they're making the operations uh, eat, like uh, more viable for other troop combinations, that's what worries me. Because like, what are they gonna do? Like, they just knock down all the like building health and building damage? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so I guess um, I'm still curious to see how they're gonna do that exactly. Um, but like, I don't understand how they're gonna make it more. Um, more viable for other troop combinations without just making it extremely easy for Zookas, you know what I mean? Like, like if, if, um, if they're relatively like the same layouts and they don't have barbed wire and like the building health is just knocked down on them, then like how is it, like why wouldn't you use Zookas, you know what I mean? It, it's going to be the exact same as it is now, but less building health and like, I don't know, they're going to have to change the layouts or something. Like. I, they could do a million things, guys. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely interested to see how that's actually going to work. And um, and this weekend, all troop mania, all the troops, ninety percent off. That's going to be so nice. Um, so we can go a little, we can go pretty diamond crazy here with just three hundred and sixty diamonds. Not today. I guess it starts later today or tomorrow or something. But um, yeah, that's basically it for the news. So I'm, I'm, I'm most excited about the imitation game. I think that's going to be sick. Um, seven stages of increasing player base difficulty. It's going to be kind of like War Factory, I guess, because we get ten attacks to do it, but it's a different base uh, every time. So, speaking of War Factory, we're going to go ahead and dive on into that. And uh, see what we can get done here, guys. 
Oh, we haven't seen this layer in a while. Uh, this one should be relatively easy, I think. Thanks to the chicken. Um, so basically for this one, um, we want to smoke up to the right, uh, right where those machine guns are. Now, should I just go for the damage? Should I just go straight for the HQ guys, or should I, should I try to clear it first? Let's just go straight for the HQ, what are we even saying? What are we even saying? Um, okay, so I got to two smoke the landing. This one I got to be super careful with, because... There's so many lasers on the beach, so if you step out for a second, then you're just absolutely roasted. Don't step out, don't step out, don't step out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty. And as always, guys, I'm going to have uh, Zmod's Boar Factory uh, linked below if you want to see the most efficient and optimal way to do things. Okay, okay, okay. Bang. I think we can one smoke this. Yeah, let's not double smoke bazookas for once and see what happens. Can we stay up? Okay, easy, easy girls, easy, easy, easy. Easy. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, we'll get the health kits going. Health kits going, health kits out guys, health kits out. Come on. Oh, lasers, lasers are going. Yeah. Oh well, not a bad first attack, not a bad first attack. We almost did it one. So if I had um, <clears throat> boosted damage, we probably would have done that for sure. But I mean, I've got four damage stats just as it is. So uh, I probably have boosted damage for the most of the people um, that are watching this, like relatively. Okay, so we're gonna dive on right back in. I don't like all these lasers, guys. They make it. They make me nervous. Like, like there should be a. Like, it should be easy to finish, right? But I'm still kind of nervous because all these freaking lasers, like, if you screw up the landing, like, you're basically toasted. You're basically roasted and toasted, guys. See what I mean? I think I'm done. Uh, oh. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, girls, easy. Okay, rock launcher's letting us know it's there. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yeah, lasers firing a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on there, considering we didn't lose many, uh, many Zookas. I only need to get like one shot off here, so I'm not uh, too, too concerned, guys. Uh, I am going to go ahead and be a big baby and uh, throw two smokes down. <clears throat> Just to, um, I probably could have done this with GBE, honestly. But this is more fun. Okay, so bang, bang, bang. Health gets out, and boom. War Factory goes down. Rock, back. So that's a pretty easy war factor. Usually these lasers are all sniper towers, so that was a little harder today than it needed to be for sure. Um, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments, guys, what you think about Imitation Game. Um, seven stages of player bases, increasing difficulty. I'd, I'd love to know what it means by the bases will feature persistent damage. Like, does that mean the statues are going to be the same throughout the entire, like, through all the, like, ten stages? Like, that doesn't make sense. Right? If they're going to be harder, then it's not just going to be the layout. It would have to be the the actual um, statue percentage, right? And Forlorn Hope, I'm super excited to see. Hopefully, we can uh, I can convince these guys to actually do it. Um, we'll show off one more attack here. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, oh, this is from yesterday. Uh, did we show this one? Quantum? I'm not sure. I think we did actually, but it was a good attack, so we'll show it again, rack, rack, rack. but yeah, super excited for Imitation Game, uh, that's going to be awesome, um, it's going to it's gonna knock out um, one of the Dr. Terror days, so I think that's honestly going to be kind of nice, because we have so many like Dr. Terror events as it is, it's just going to be like, I think it's just going to be good just to get a little break from that, uh, like we see enough of Mr. Terrence as it is, and um, yeah, Forlorn Hope, <clears throat> Kind of thumbs down on right now, but um, it could be good. It could be good. We'll see. I mean, if uh, it, it depends on what they mean by changing the um, by like changing the other operations to make them more viable for other troops. Um, could could go either way on that, but um, hopefully it, it ends up being good. And um, I am kind of interested to see how the barbed wire plays out. Like I said before, I, I, I still have the same stance on it. Like I I, I think it's a dumb idea, um, but. There could be some sort of, like, it could work out, so. Still, still remains to be seen, guys. This is just kind of, uh, my, my, uh, 
raw thoughts here. So anyways, let me know what you guys think of the imitation game of Forlorn Hope down in the comments. Are you excited for all Troop Mania this weekend? 90% off every single troop. That's going to be awesome. And that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one. Chicken out. <laughs>